Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Aged Out Reacts with the two hosts of the Aged Out Podcast, Mike Fantini and Evan Wall. And I am super stoked about this one. You and I have been waiting for a while, all season, really, yeah. to get a good piece of content. You know, we ha had Josh sent us a couple little sneak peeks through text it's messages. Pretty and stuff, much a but tease. Yeah. He's been teasing like us for a some, few weeks. Send me some videos, man. It's like, yeah, just get us whatever. Whatever. So Drumline AV, amazing, amazing YouTube channel. Go check out, subscribe, watch this content. Um, one of the many, we're kind of spoiled with people that are t taking and uploading lot videos, outdoor and indoor, compared to even like five years ago. I feel like. Yeah, I, I wish that I had um, these videos from when I marched, which I know the guys over at Drum Corps Coffee Shop and probably Evan at Drumline AV too. That that's kind of like their thing at the coffee shop like we wish that we had videos like this when we marched so just pretty sick that they can provide that for these current members and they'll always be immortalized on youtube so yep it'll always be there and uh yeah i'm just and the quality the, I, I was I, that's what i was getting ready to get into like there's videos from 2012 10 9 but the quality of recording audio and video is not even close to what what you have now so uh, it's super cool, but yeah, we're watching Rhythm X today. It's their warm-up for finals um, from the Indy Regional this past weekend, uh, three or four days ago now, but pretty pretty current content, pretty current uh, status of the ensemble and show and just kind of clarity and all that stuff. And I've told you, Evan, before we started, I feel like we're getting to the point where we can probably talk about clarity now. Like, we're over halfway through the season. It's not February 2nd anymore. <sighs> right. I think we're like seven weeks out, six and a half weeks out from finals. Yeah. In the Ooh. words of Mike Bishop, it's March. <laughs> <laughs> it was eight days in, yeah. Yeah. So uh, check out the podcast on all podcast services. Follow us on social media. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Drop a comment on the YouTube video. Share it. Like it. Help us out with the algorithm. Hit the join button on YouTube if you want to support us financially. The only option is 99 cents a month. It just goes towards travel costs. Uh, equipment upgrades when we do those. If you notice, I just got a new camera recently, so thank you to everyone that's been contributing and helping us out. Um, yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Did you just do the purple cobra? I wasn't looking at you. I did. <laughs> Buttery, smooth roll. Smooth. Whew, I love those double accent inheritors. Oh, good low oh. roll quality. Mixing in that PDD roll in the middle of that. Two things. Great just roll quality off the bat from the snares and the quads. That quad opening phrase, like you said it in the middle of it, I said it. Smooth, buttery, just around the drums. Sound quality wasn't affected moving from drum to drum. Then you have the snare line come in with some, like, the accent to tap. It's it's a Josh Bricky, like, hallmark at this point as an instructor. Just accent tap differentiation. And still maintaining relaxed hands to get amazing low-end sound quality. But the accents still are full and big. I feel like, too, one thing that Tim Jackson does a lot more now that he didn't do as much when we were there is insert like those small little breaks in the middle of phrases and then they just like re-enter yeah. there's more space mm -hmm. and just re-attack than probably what we had in our books that we played yeah if um, i think back to 11 and 12 when phrases started they kind of went for a while like there were definitely there how were... it was in 2010 we just didn't stop playing yeah <laughs> well you kind of have to once you're it's like a moving train once you're on it just yeah. you can't stop with how fast those tempos were but yeah so great start so far uh, notice they all yelled but didn't yell. That's part of the show for those of you. What's the show title? Unspoken. Yeah, so goes with that. The quiet symbol flips. Inaudible. Don't drop. Again, the low-end attack, right on the roll. Retardando. Good control, slowing the flames down and decrescendoing it, and I am going to back up that bass phrase. Um, like, those same hand, left hand, left hand flams, just decrescendoed and decelled at the same time. Great control. 
All right, I want to hear the bass lick at the end of this that closes the phrase out. Oof, managing space. Delicate. The cell, D cell. Yeah. Crescendo, the decrescendo at the same time. Yep. Super tough. Everything's just so quiet, which is such a unique. Like, no duts. Woo! That roll. <laughs> Woo! A little contrast, edge to center. The shock, shock quality. Like that, the retack after the buzz. Like, go back real quick. Zzz. And then the reattack out of space. Zzz. Complete change of grip pressure and finger pressure. I'm going to rewind at the beginning of that phrase because they nailed it. And I loved, they're playing out at the edge. What What did you, your, what's your tra trademark for that now, by the way? Uh, well, I'm going to call it the pure edge when you push straight forward. Uh, getting all the way out to the bearing edge, which is a, a, an old cadet term, I think, was the Gillette is what they called it. Yeah. So, so that's what I've always heard. They're playing part of that snare phrase out at the pure edge, Gillette, whatever you want to call it, or halfway, whatever the zone is. But there's a c couple accented left double strokes that move quickly back to the center of the drum just to p change the texture. It just, just interesting. There's a time just and a little place stuff for like the, that. There's a time and a place for the gut edge, but I just prefer the push straight forward. Let's see. All right. Let's get that whole phrase again. Just so many little cool things going on. Whew. Right there. The pause. With the little press stroke. Mm -hmm. Woo. Right there too. Woo. Woo. <laughs> Held on to it all the way at the bottom end. So, Dude, and they just give you the sauce with the face at the end. Mm -hmm. hmm. There was something else I wanted to say, but I lost it. But we're, we're just going to keep going. All the phrases and everything communicate just non vocally. The change of speed, the change of re-entrance. It's very, I don't know, just well thought out. Good full ensemble musical moment, front to back, just interesting. The roll. So there was a big long bass phrase at the beginning of that, and what I appreciated the most, yeah, they had some their tasty, <clears throat> excuse me, delicate runs back and forth, but it was really just a moment about the, the front ensemble and the bass line. I really loved the use of unisons in the bass line throughout that whole phrase phrase, just popping them out, lining it up while the front's lining it up with what they hear behind them, obviously. But you know what I mean. Like just musically how it lined lining up. Lining it up like in that. the score. Exactly just it just worked really really well and i'm i'm gonna play that phrase one more time uh for that and i remember what i was gonna say about the snare phrase i made the comment about it was it infinity that had or was it monarch that had like one shot two shots in their whole snare phrase feature yeah monarch there was only one shot in that whole snare feature too so <laughs> must be a thing this year or i'm just talking out of my butt but <laughs> it has been known to happen all right, and I think the dut entrance for that snares after that bass moment is like the only one that I can recall from the whole show. Yeah. So I'll have to pay attention though. Now listen to the unison bass line to the front. Good unisons are underappreciated. Very much. Just the 
thumb roll for style right there. Style points. Because why not? Good roll. Good crescendo. I think musically they play better than anybody else this year right now. As an ensemble. And from a clarity standpoint, I'll make that statement too. Pulse would be the close second. You're a pin drop, man. I know, it's awesome. <laughs> I love this part in the show. Yeah. I love that section. Those singles. So much space. Cut a couple of duds in there. Just a lot of reattacks. Ooh! That roll in. Man, the the roll was not only awesome at the end of that phrase, but also the touch a touch a that you pointed out too. That's a lot harder than I feel like people give it credit for. To feel the space and control that just isolated left double without a release from the other hand is tough. Yeah, and it's a it's a pretty cool moment on the floor where they're side one, side two, uh, base quad or base and quad side one, snares on side two, and maybe symbols too, and they're just like doing like a call and response using the VE as like a visual representation of like communicating over space and distance. It's mm -hmm. pretty pretty intellectual. Yep. I feel like there's a lot of like intellectual high level stuff in the show. It's one of those kind of shows. It's not like the like touch touch was very obvious. Gone was very obvious. Yeah, I, those shows had intricacies and and other layers to them too. But it was much more surface level to like really appreciate what they were doing. Well, um, I think too like the mark of good design on a show is when you can appreciate things that are a surface level, but then you can nuance them down to minute detail as well. Yep. So it hits hits the spectrum. Yeah. Also, that singles, those delicate singles they just played, it's almost like, yeah, California, we can play singles with space, too. <laughs> That's the way I read that a little bit. I want to back up and hear them, hear them again, and then we'll just keep going. There we go. <laughs> Why stick grab? This is... on the left hand. This uh, this arrangement with the front and the the metal keyboards is nice. Woo. Holding on the holding on to it all the way down. Those are delicate symbols. I don't know. I was going to say, are. are those like see through? Okay, I say pause real quick then. I think I saw this on Instagram. They don't have straps. Um, so obviously the symbols that are in the carriers, they have the straps, but these yeah. don't. So, like, I think somebody said, like, are they magnets? Hold them together. Like, there's a magnet on the inside of the symbol and then a magnet on the back side of the palm. Interesting. Uh, but they don't have straps on. And I guess huh. these are like a lighter. Obviously, they're very delicate in the, the sound and the volume with this moment, but. Yeah. I think I think they are like mesh symbol. Yeah. Cool. Obviously they're still like metal it sounds yeah. like. Yeah. Fun fact, I did not know that. Huh. 
Great transition to the threes. Okay, hold on. Pause, 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 pause. So, obviously, it's almost like a side gawk, which I'm sure... Yeah. I, I, it's, I've never played a side gawk. I've played it looks side cool. pings. It looks um, cool. I've played side pings for sure. But the thing... People probably hype the, the shot, but really when the shot's coming out, they re-attack with the left hand. It's like a, a same hand drag. Da -da 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 with the left. Da -da 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 -da. Like, that's what sticks out to me the most. I'm like, them left hands are churning. I need to... I didn't notice that. I'm going to back up. So when they I... go out, like, the re-attack is like a... Da -da 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 with the left hand. Da -da 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 before the right even makes it back over so, to the drum. I said we were going to talk about clarity now. The only spot is the rim re-attack with the right hand it gets a little fuzzy coming back onto the drum with the right hand after the side shot but that'll clean up that's just that's just uh that's tough to come yeah. back onto the drum after a rim click like that with how fast that feature is so so when we watch this again try to ignore like the the shot like don't get, let your eye get pulled distracted. out to the right like watch the left. watch the watch the left hand and i got yeah. distracted so i want to see this <laughs> That's so cool. Whew. Jeez. Dude, all that flam work. Their book is Slams are in style. This year for sure, yeah. Woo! Good mid tempo roll. Mac roll. Strokes. Oh, the pulse rolls. Just in there the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Dude. I want to hear the pulse rolls the, the end of that phrase again. I'm not going to talk over it. it. It's just so, so good. They're, they're fast. Drumming. And they're doing it with those Lincoln Log Fairbanks Promark <laughs> sticks. <laughs> Dude, they are heavy. I, I love like you, them. Tim, but the sticks are heavy. I will say, the full shot has a different sound to it than other sticks when it's clean. So the book's fast, the book's hard, and they're they using are beefy. beefy sticks. So, Dude, the last few pairs of sticks I've bought are all Pro Mark Tim's and then uh, the Macintosh that I really like. Yeah, they're pretty, they're pretty good. Brought to you by Relaxed Downstrokes. And there's your thumbnail, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, it's bad that I actually put thought into that where I pause while we make oh, these. It's all good. <laughs> no, but um, to kind of jump back to what you were saying earlier, I, I didn't really touch on it at the moment. I was waiting for the video to finish. But without, obviously, hyping or being biased at the home team, I do think that they have probably one of the more difficult and better sounding battery ensemble in 2023. I um, the will... book is very challenging. It's fast. It's open at times. You get a good contrast of velocity to space. I mean, the clarity for March 5th is it's pretty, pretty damn good. Yeah. Like I uh... sent this video to a friend and he's like, I think somebody forgot to tell him that only California groups are clean in March. <laughs> I was, I was in that like, text yeah. group. Yeah, I, I laughed when I read that. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I'll. I said it after the Mystique video. I think at the end of it, our last reaction. Pulse and X are my top two. Mystique is a solid third, and I think Broken City and RCC are four or five right now in terms of of clarity, in terms of like holistically content, yeah, yeah. clarity, everything. I would say from a battery book difficulty, I think X has the hardest battery book. It's definitely like the choppiest, the notiest. They've got dynamic range. They have space. They've got rudimental vocabulary out the ass, for lack of a better way to put it. Like, they Agreed. just. I'll, uh, yeah. I need to see a better. Like, I watched the 
the flow stream from the weekend. So mm-hmm. I did get to yeah. see the show from up top. Um, the audio from those gyms is not always stellar. Um, it was be- having like performed see... in that indie gym when we were marching. Yeah, the audio was much better than I expected before I watched. Yeah, the I, th- I think Flo did a, a good job with it. Mm-hmm. It's just, I mean, it's you do what you. It is what it's drums in a gym. It is what I mean, it is. Yeah. So, but I, I'm anxious to see more content, especially like when they start getting into full ensemble outside stuff and. Yeah, yeah. they're and they're going to clean up even more. Outside lot. I, I don't think so. Um, and X is going to clean up even more when they get to rehearse outside. Hopefully, the weather will cooperate like it does most years, uh, and rehearse and drum outside for like the last week or two of the season so magic week magic week man that magic rhythm x fairy dust fairy dust it's real it's, it's a real, real thing uh yeah i mean i love the book uh the show admittedly didn't do a whole lot for me the first couple times i watched it but again it's not in person you're right. watching it over the internet like we said the same thing about broken city last year where we were like yeah this show's flat it doesn't really do much then we saw it live at finals and me you and dean hickman yeah. were all like I respect it. It's much better it, live. It, it probably, obviously, things hit different in person for sure. Yeah. But I'm anxious to see it live. Not sure if that'll be sooner or if it'll just be at the end, but we'll see. Yep. So, so this was fun. They're really good. I like watching them play and hit the drum at the same time. Um, yes. <laughs> so, yeah. Like, subscribe, comment, join the YouTube membership, support us in all of our traveling and equipment and all that stuff. But the view- viewership alone is all we need at the end of the day. Uh, we just love doing this and appreciate that you all appreciate what we do. So thank you, as always, sure, and Facebook, sure. Facebook, Instagram, uh, Patreon, share the video with your friends, all that jazz. And we'll see everybody, hopefully, with GMU or Broken City or something like that for the next one. So we'll see you next time. Peace.